do you know one thing we can start using our python in our favorite excel so like in case if you are a python pro and if you are interested in pandas numpy seaborn matplotlib all these libraries then here we go so we are able to perform all our data science operations or we can say all our analysis operations so in our particular excel by using python so here you are able to see your python integration so this is your python integration so you can write down all your python code in your excel cell so that you are able to start performing various python visualizations let me show you how we can do that a small demo yes for example if i want to create a new python cell so here this is my data i want to start writing down a script so here i want to write it for example or i want to plot a histogram so we can just say control shift and uh, control shift alt and p if you are able to click on you are able to get your python code or another way to do that is i can just uh, escape it and i can just write down equal to py and if you are able to hit tab you are able to do that so by using control shift alt p you are able to get your python or you are able to just write down equal to py and you are able to start writing down the code so now let me write down the code for example i want to select all this data select all this data and if i just click on if you want to execute that cell it's not enter you need to say control enter so by giving control enter you are able to see this is called as a data frame so people who are uh, already aware of python so they are aware of what is meant by a data frame so normally a data frame can be called as a two dimensional heterogeneous data can be called as a data frame what is meant by a heterogeneous data is if you are having each column each data type for example this class is an alphabetical data we call it as an object data if this uh, tal column is in numerical we call it as integer if it is float value we call it as float if each column is having its own data type we call it as a heterogeneous data and this is a two dimensional if you want to store two dimensional heterogeneous data in python by using a pandas library we are going with calling data frame now what i am doing is now we all are aware of this particular commands now see i am just writing down again control shift alt p i am just creating a python command here or uh, you are able to go to this particular variable let me create escape and here i am just writing down this is your python cell you are able to see this in this python cell i am just writing down the variable name so we are able to give variable name as for example uh, we are dealing with this is a hard data set i am giving the name as hard equal to and if i just say control enter now what we are doing is we are trying to take this particular cell which we selected and we are storing into a variable name called as hard now by using this variable i just want to come up with a command so what is that command i want to use hard data set so again control shift alt p i got a python script so here i am writing hard and in that there is a column what is that column name age column so i am just going with age column square braces dot histogram so by giving that histogram command and if i execute shift control enter if i am giving control enter you are able to see it is saying busy you got an image now so like if i want to get that image if you click on this drop down you got two options python object and excel value i want it as a excel value let me click on an excel value you are able to see so it is loading you are able to see a small visualization a small histogram here if i want to get a bigger one i'm just selecting all this going to home and just clicking on merge this so you are able to get this kind of visualization so you are able to get this kind of visualization so now in this way we are able to write down the simple your python commands and we are able to do this so this is a python command histogram plotting no i want to plot a particular describe command what is describe we all are aware of describe commands in pandas so we can do describe command as well here so again control shift alt p you got your py uh, cell here now i am writing heart dot describe so you are trying to describe your data set so control enter so you are able to get uh, again busy and uh, once you got busy now it is in a data frame format you can click on this drop down make it into an excel value so when you click on this excel value you are able to get uh, your summary statistics so this is called as a summary statistics where you are able to get count so how many rows we have it there are 15 rows in this data set and uh, what is the mean so the mean value is 15.4 is the mean value and uh, the standard deviation is 8.97 and uh, the particular minimum value is 
and the 25 percentile is 52.5 means like uh, the average age of the patients coming to the hospital are 55 age group and the deviation is around 8.9 and uh, the minimum age group people coming to the hospital are 37 maximum age group people coming to the hospital are 67 and uh, we can say 52.5 is we are saying 25 percent quantile means 25 percent of the data is below 52.5 age group 50 percent of the data is below 56 age group 62.5 percent of the data is below uh, sorry uh, 75 percent of the data is below 62.5 age group and uh, maximum age group is 67 in this way we are able to get the summary statistics this is called summary statistics with the help of our pandas command called as describe so what is pandas people who are new to python so pandas is called as a library so what is a library again let's take python as an operating system if we take python as our phone like an iphone or an uh, Android or any of these phones, the OS, we have an operating system, Android operating system and an iOS operating system. In the similar way, Python, let's take it as an operating system, like we install, we go to Play Store, App Store and we install, right? In the similar way, we are able to go to PIP, which is like a Play Store and App Store, we are able to install various libraries. So the, this library is going to help us to perform various visualization operations and Excel based analysis operations and all that we can do it with the help of Pandas library, NumPy library. In this way, there are different libraries. If I want to create a visualization, I can use Seaborn. Let us do that now. Now, I want to create a visualization. So for that reason, again, I'm just clicking Control Shift Alt P and uh, here, you are able to see the big cell. So here I am writing import Seaborn as SNS. So Seaborn is a library which we are using it for, uh, we are importing. So let me click enter. When I click enter, it is giving me none type. Let us see. It's going to give a none type. Now let's try to create a box plot. So if you are planning to create a box plot, shift P. So I want to write SNS dot box plot sns dot box plot of so heart of age and uh, i'm closing the braces you are able to see the command here and say control enter so by giving control enter we are able to get the image here now i want to get excel value so once i got excel value I got the box plot. Let me select all these points. Let me go to merge. So you are able to get the box plot and we are able to notice there is a small outlier. So this is uh, the minimum value. This is your 25%. This is your 50. This is your 75. This is your maximum. So the minimum value, minimum age group is this. 25% of the data is below 53 or something. And in this way, we are able to get the analysis here. So now in the similar way, there are various uh, pandas commands we can do it. Now, what is that? For example, here, this data set is about class, means these are heart disease data set. So now here zero is absence of heart disease. One, presence of heart disease. Two, presence of heart disease, CVRT level three. Two, three, presence of heart disease, CVRT level three. So now what I want to do, I want to group this entire data based on class and I want to calculate the mean. I can do it. So how we can do it? Again, uh, I can use this command. So, or you can just write py and uh, you are able to write down the code. So, I want to write down, so heart dot group by, I want to group by, so based on class column, I want to group by based on class, close the braces dot, I want to calculate the mean, control enter. So, by doing it, you are able to get your particular data frame now i want it as an excel value so click on an excel value so here you are able to see so yeah here you are able to see for zero class the average age is 51 and for zero class the average uh, gender this is a wrong metric means for a discrete data checking makes sense but here for me we want to separate discrete data under kanyas data so here and we can do that operation now in the same way i want to check a correlation so how we can check correlation for example no I want to filter the data. So if I look at here, I got uh, different age groups. So I got data around 62 age group, 50 age group and all that. For example, I want to date, pick data only about 60 age group. So how can I do it? I want to select only 60 age group people. So if I want to pick 60 age group, so here let me select it. So write 
heart square braces heart of age and where the age value need to be greater than 60 close the braces so close the braces and control enter sorry this is i want to write it as a python cell let me copy this and here let me write equal to py hit tab and paste it and say control enter so let it load we got a data frame let me convert that into excel value here you are able to see we filtered only 63 age group people we are able to check it so in this way like what we can do we are able to uh, build uh, the visualization like this no we can do one more so we call it as a pair plot in uh, in, in in pandas it's not a pandas library it is a seaborn library so again equal to py and uh, let me just give sns dot pair plot of heart so heart is a data set so let me say control enter let's see pair plot we are able to get it so if you are very good with python means especially pandas i think all this is going to be pretty much uh, easy so let's see i think these are all the commands like people who are already aware of Py python that to pandas matplotlib seaborn all these libraries they already do this so now uh, all these commands the above commands we discussed all these are something we learn it in python we learn it in pandas we do it the same commands we are able to do it in our excel that's one of the facility means like people who are excel people and that too means like it's a timeout maybe like there's a huge visualization it is unable to generate okay no worries so let us try another one so let me delete it and let me say equal to py and i want to say heart dot core so core is called as correlation so what is co core called as core is called as correlation so we are able to check the correlation so what is correlation the linearity between two parameters so if you want to understand linearity between two parameters for example the linearity is there are two parameters we call it as x is directly proportional to y or x is inversely proportional to y if you want to explain this kind of relationships means like we are able to go for correlation so what is that if you take a graph if the data is like this we call it as positive correlation as x value increasing y value is increasing one of the example of correlation is as we are consuming more food our weight increases positive correlation and there is negative correlation what is negative correlation x and y as uh, for example if you take our bike mileage or let's take our strength as our age is increasing our strength reduces or uh, our particular uh, horsepower is increasing so your mileage is reducing we call it as negative relation so we are able to check this kind of relation with the help of this so let me click on this drop down select excel values so let's wait yeah so these are all correlation values so age and age is having positive correlation so age and uh, thrust vps is having this so in this way we are able to get all these correlation values with the help of our particular uh, pandas I means this is all pandas library so in this way so here what i have done all the commands i use so far they are all python commands they are all pandas commands or we can say python commands now how someone can do that so like you are able to find whether it is there in, in your system or not you need to check this particular button this ribbon you need to have insert python ribbon if you have this you can do it but how you can get this is if you are able to go to file here you are able to go to your account section if you go to your account section so mine is my uh, means like i am using a paid version you need to go to microsoft 365 insider you need to be signed up for beta channel so now i currently signed up for beta channel so i am able to access this particular python so this is not fully available for all the version there's a beta version where people are testing it so if you are interested to test python with excel you need to go to microsoft 365 insider beta channels you're able to address all this you're able to access this python in your excel i hope if you like this video please like share and subscribe and in case if you like this kind of content please share your views on the comment section i'll be doing more videos something like this thank you